visualization is a tool that a lot of people use to try to reach the, the life or the business of their dreams, but I think it's used ineffectively. And actually, I think it's used detrimentally by a lot of people. So people usually only visualize the end goal, the outcome. I want that million dollar business, right? But what they fail to do is to visualize the process, the work along the way that creates the million dollar business. So one of the popular movies, The Secret, right, which is many years ago now, um, popularized the idea of like just seeing in your mind's eye that fancy red sports car or that that thousand dollar check in the mail or whatever it is and if you visualize it enough supposedly it tends to make it happen more likely and so a lot of people they do a lot of that visualization they have vision boards etc but what's missing in their life is the actions that actually lead them to achieving that because reality has certain rules you can't just sit on your couch and visualize a $1,000 check and then next day you go to the mailbox and find a $1,000 check. A lot of people have tried. It doesn't work that way. Okay, for most, maybe there's a you know, random situation where that worked for one person, so they put that in the movie or whatever, but trust me, many of us have tried that and it doesn't work. What does work though is doing the work that leads to the $1,000 check in the mail or that million dollar business. Right? Doing the work adding enough value to your audience and to the world where people want to pay you a thousand dollars okay use visualization for the process of getting there so if you want a million dollar business what does what, that takes maybe building an audience through content or maybe that takes creating a program or service or product that people love that takes work and usually people dread that work or they don't enjoy that work they just enjoy the fantasy of that visualization and I'm gonna challenge you and encourage you to visualize the enjoyment of the work that's leading you there visualize the joy the, the sense of service that you have the sense of generosity and visualize the opportunity that you have to explore yourself and to grow personally as a result of doing that work Visualize also the, the opportunity every single day as you do the work for mindfulness, for bringing yourself to the present moment, to, for gratitude, okay, and for bringing excellence to every task that you do, the opportunity to grow because you're bringing excellence to every task that you do. Visualize that and then activate that every single day. And almost certainly you will reach the end goal you're more likely to reach the end goal if you are consistent with your actions, right? And, to, to, and you're more likely to be consistent with your actions if you enjoy your actions, if you see the value in the action itself and not just in what the action will bring you. Now, let me take a moment to talk about why I think the law of attraction is dangerous to a lot of people. The law of attraction, people usually see it as, oh, I'm going to visualize material things, and if I send out enough of those vibrations, then, you know, it'll somehow manifest itself, you know, somehow I'll be too... Well, people are frequently disappointed by whatever they visualize. People frequently throw away their vision boards because it doesn't, it's not panning out, okay? And like I said earlier, um, I don't know if I said that in this video, but you, your limited ego human mind only knows like 0.01% of reality, right? Because you, you can only see through your two eyes, your, your five senses. You know very little about the rest of the world and you can see, you know, you're only one self. And also your future. You know very little about what is really best for you in the future. God knows what's best. And I think what God calls us to do is not to obsess about our future, but God calls us to be love in this moment, to bring wisdom, to bring mindfulness, to bring courage to every task that we do. That is what we're being called to. So if we focus on that present calling, on the task that is in front of us now, bringing us much mindful, no matter how boring the task is, no matter how scary it is, practicing bringing a little bit more love a little bit more courage a little bit more humility a little bit more mindfulness to this task 
then we see the task as being worthwhile in itself. And then if we do the task consistently, we will much more likely reach the result. Right? So, one more thing I'll say before I end this video is desires are not necessarily truth. Just because you desire something, that desire could have come from the body. That what the body wants is security and pleasure. That's what the body wants, very short term. Your desire could have come from your soul, and what the soul, the soul can be lost. The soul can be broken. The soul can be deceived. The soul wants praise. The soul wants people to love, love you, right? And that's fine. That's okay. That's good. It feels good. But you have a third level to you, which is spirit. Spirit is perfect. Let's just, whatever words you want to use is fine. Some, some of you might say higher self. Some of you might say your values. But I'm going to use the word spirit. Spirit is perfect love, perfect courage, perfect humility, perfect generosity, perfect joy, right? And spirit has desires for you too. Spirit has the desire for you to be perfect love, to be perfect joy, to be perfect courage, to be perfect in mindfulness to the task in the moment. So when we typically visualize, we're visualizing the desires of the body or the desires of the soul, the, the, the soul that is not perfect, that is not complete, this, that's still in process. What if instead we visualize the desires of spirit? And the desires of spirit are for joy in the moment, are for courage and love in the moment, for generosity in the moment, for wisdom in the task, whatever the task may be, however boring the task you think the task is. Let's visualize the desires. Let's use visualization on the desires of spirit. And that is to visualize the joy of the task in front of you today whatever that task may be. And I'll end this video by saying, giving you an actual example. Uh, right now, as I'm recording this January 15th, I am working on, uh, I'm about to teach my Joe for Productivity course, so it's still on sale right now, and I'm really excited by, by it. Uh, people who join the live class tend to enjoy it uh, a lot more, and it's a lot more fun. So I'm trying to get people to, to join the live class, and I was... At, at first, I was hoping for 50 enrollments for the live class, you know. Uh, I, was, I was like hoping for that. That was, a, that was a desire, maybe from the soul, maybe not a spirit desire, but the soul's desire. There's 50 people in the class. The first couple of days of sales, there were only like two sales the first couple of days. And I'm like, oh no, I know from past experience that probably not going to reach 50. So I adjusted my expectations so that I could, I only, I was like, okay, I'm only going to expect to sell five. I think I'm still going to be okay. I'm going to survive financially. I'll, I'll be fine. I'll just want to sell five. And I'll still, you know, even if a couple of people come, I'll still enjoy delivering it. And I'm going to do my best. So I can sell five. That's, that was what I was expecting. And also my current clients all get to come for free. So there's going to be people there. Um, and, but I'm still going to visualize and enjoy the activity of getting the word out about this course because I enjoy it. I think it's worthwhile. I think uh, I'm going to enjoy just letting people know what my passion is, what my, what my favorite topic to teach is. So I did, I did that. I did the consistent action of outreach. And right now, a day before, uh, there's already 35, I think almost 40 sales now. 40 compared to the five that I was set my expectations toward. Now you might say, wow, the law of attraction says that you should have only gotten five because you sent out those vibrations about five, five. No, I sent out the vibrations about enjoying the task, enjoying the task of outreach. And I let whatever outcome happens, let life take care of the outcome. Let God take care of the results. I am responsible for the actions and finding the joy and the mindfulness in the actions. So I hope you'll take this message to heart and whatever you're wanting to achieve, Focus instead on the process and the joy of the process and let God take care of the results. Let God take care of the outcome. You are responsible for the consistency of the actions and bringing joy to that. I hope that helps. And if you enjoy this message and you want a lot more of it, well, we're going to talk a lot more about this in the Joyful Productivity course. I hope you'll decide to join us live. If not live, you'll at least get the replays. The replays will be super useful too because you can do the exercises on your own. So anyway, um... Until the next video, I wish you joy and mindfulness in, what, in all the tasks that you do today. Be well.